In this video, we'll look at how to install the impulse response libraries for Avid Space. After you install Space and place it on an insert in Pro Tools, and you look over here in your list of impulse responses, you'll probably be thinking, where are all of my impulse responses? We only have like one or two per category. Well, that's because we actually have to install the impulse responses separately. So we can do that by coming here to edit and click download space IR package, or you can just head right over to this site, which will be linked in the description and scroll down to where it says downloads here. Use our little drop down, and you'll have to go through each and every one of these and click download every single one, at least that you want. And as you can see here, we have already downloaded all of those. And then we unzip all of them, which are right down here. Now we'll head back to space, come up here to edit, click our little drop down, and come to install space IR package. Navigate to where you downloaded and unzip your space impulse responses. And we'll just start right here. And we'll just grab this one and hit open and click install. And click OK once it's finished. And then we come back and hit install space IR package and we'll do the next one and hit install and continue on like this through all of the other packages. It's sort of tedious, but this is how you do it. So go on to the next folder and choose one, hit open and install and we'll just keep doing this. So I'll finish this out and we'll be back after I'm done. All right, so we have installed all of those packages. And as you can see here in space, when we scroll down now with everything fanned out, we have a lot more impulses, hundreds. And of course, we can dial in more here to see the actual impulses. And real quick, uh, just you know, to make sure they work, I'll load up a couple here. You can hear some samples. Okay, so everything is working just fine here in space. And by the way, I'm on Windows here. And if you're wondering where those files are installed to, that would be C, Users, Public, Avid, Space. And here's all the log files of what we installed. And this is the actual impulse response library, okay? So we'll dial in here. And we can see these are just audio files is what your impulse responses are. Okay, so what you might want to do is back up this entire folder onto another hard drive. So here we have a backup folder I just created, so I, I can copy these over here. Don't move them, but we can copy them to back them up. That way maybe you just want to drag them over on your next install, but if that doesn't work, always keep a backup of your installers as well. So be sure to back these up, back up your impulse response library, the actual folder. That way you have two backups of your space IR library. All right, so that's how you install all of the included impulse responses into Avid Space.